Hello, what can I do for you? I have a guy to book into jail. What is the crime? It is for driving while license suspended. Are you kidding me? This guy must have made you angry. Do you think it is necessary to book someone for something so minor? You guys have discretion you know. Yes, I know we have discretion. I used it and decided to book him. Even though I do not need to, I will explain my thinking. He has a history of not taking care of his tickets, refuses to give me a current address and told me to go make love to my own mother. He deserves to go to jail, since you work in one, I thought maybe you could help me out. I do not think we can book him, he is too drunk. I did two separate PBTs on him, and he has gone from a .15 to a .16. If he continues to go up, at some point he could be over a .25, and we cannot take him. But what if his BSC does not go up to a .25? Then his backpack is too big. We cannot book him. If for some reason we can fit his backpack in a property bag, then we cannot take him, because he seems angry and loud. We cannot listen to him all night. He also looks like he might be sick and the nurse is not here. His eyes look a little funny, is he crazy? If so, he needs to be transported to the King County Jail. There is also an outside chance he could could be pregnant or have a heavy menstrual flow, and we do not allow that in our facility. We are just not prepared to house criminals who are sick, intoxicated, angry, loud, or suffering from mental illness. Do not be upset with us, we are just trying to train you for the opening of the penitentiary. We are actually doing you a favor by not booking anyone. Pam you who? Thank you for the lesson. Every time I book someone I get educated on something. The last time I tried to book someone, I learned how to torture a claustrophobic prisoner by keeping him in the sally port for three hours. The time before that, I brought a guy in who sneezed and I learned that booking a suspect with a cold could introduce a mini plague to the jail and the liability would be too great. Before that, I learned you must also speak English to be booked. If it was not for this new invention called the language line, I would have not been able to book my Spanish-speaking suspect. I see what you are saying, and if there was any way I could, I would love to help you out and book him. I just do not think I can book him for liability reasons. The risk is just too great. I just spoke with my sergeant and he said that this guy should be booked. I have to call Kenny. Okay. My sergeant said you could call him if you had any questions. No, I will call Kenny. If we do not wake him up at least two times per night, he gets worried about us. Plus, police sergeants may know police things, but they do not understand corrections. The liability issues we deal with in the jail is never-ending. There are like three different cases that dictate how we do business, and even those change every few years. I mean it is impossible to keep up with what the courts want. There is also a jail manual, and that thing is huge. I had no idea. It sounds like you guys operate in a real pressure cooker down here. Yes, it used to be a cakewalk, but now we have a real commander, and he keeps close tabs on us. We used to get unlimited free food, candy, water, TV dinners, anything we needed during our shift. Now all we get is TV with expanded cable and the internet. We had a scare last month when Google went down, but as it turns out, it was a city-wide problem. Wow, I thought patrol had it bad. People are so stressed out here in the jail, they can barely make it to work. It seems like every day a jailer is sick, and we have to have an officer come in on overtime or call patrol off the street. I will be right back, I'm going to call Kenny. Okay, I will watch some TV and wait. I just spoke with Kenny, he said to book him. For some reason, he does not understand all the liability we will be incurring. I wish I could have had the time to properly explain all of the liability to him. We will take your prisoner. Great news. I will complete the necessary paperwork for you. Hold on. We just found a pill. That is a felony. We do not house felons. I need you to get this felon out of the jail immediately. He has passed the doorway and that means we are liable for him. I need him out of the facility immediately. No problem. I will take him to King County Jail after I complete my paperwork. Can I get an Aegis report from you for my case? We do not do Aegis reports. Penny says that system is too hard to use. We use a better system. 
Penny was nice enough to improve our computer system because the one the police officers use is crummy. Wow, that is strange. I thought Penny was the person who bought that system for the department. She was, we still laugh about that today, let's get back to the felon, the clock is ticking, you do not understand, he is a felon you only had 20 minutes in this facility. I have been trying to avoid doing my job for 25 minutes, so he has to be out of the jail as of 5 minutes ago. Can he sit on the bench, or in the sally port? No way, no bench because the 20 minutes is up, and we only have 3 officers working and no one could watch him, we cannot have him in the facility. I would love to help you out, but we just cannot. In fact, I would feel better if he was not even on P2. I would hate to get sued because a felon thought that P2 was part of the jail. Okay, I will stuff this bad guy into the cramped patrol care for an hour before I am done with my paperwork. And thanks again for the talk. It was good. I learned a lot. I do have one question. What happens when the penitentiary opens up? Well, what do you mean? I mean you guys have perfected the art of refusing to book people, and your skills rival that of the King County Jail, but the penitentiary is a new facility and you will need to fill it up to make any money. I'm not following you. Well, you currently operate a jail. It is funded by the city and the more people you can turn away, the easier your job is. But when you transition to the penitentiary you will need people to remain solvent. You guys have been practicing for two years for the big switch, but if you find a reason to decline everyone, you will go broke. You guys are going to have to book people, there is no way around it. Do not forget that hiring Jim Kelly is not going to help your cause either. He will expect people to be held accountable and operate efficiently. Okay, so what you're saying is that all of these restrictive practices will eventually catch up with us, and that Jim is not a status quo Renton jail insider that has been promised the world? Yes, that is what I am saying. I think the Penny faithful have some surprises coming in their future. Okay, this is unacceptable. I was told the Penny Tentury project was going to be the land of milk and honey. This was supposed to be the great gold rush, and what you are saying, if it is true, is that we are going to have to work at SCORE? No way, I was told we would all be promoted, and that everyone else was going to do the work. How can this happen, we spent the last two years burning bridges, shirking responsibilities and calling in sick for no reason. That was our light at the end of the tunnel. This was our preparation for our careers in leadership, and now it could all be in jeopardy? I cannot believe it, I'm stunned. Well pal, I am sorry, I do not know what to say. I would hate to see all the sick time usage, inflexible attitude, defiance, and arrogant smirks go to waste and you not get a sergeant or a captain spot. Good luck my friend. I must sit down, process this and watch some television. Yes relax and catch your breath. I am going to finish the transports. Take a guy to the dentist and then take some prisoners up to court. I will find out what happened on Judge Judy when I get back. Oh before I leave, have you guys hired anyone for a score? You need to hire lots of people right? Do not even get me started that my friend is another tale.